Happy Wednesday, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Weatherbug. Meteorologist Todd Nelson with, that, uh, with a look at that national coast-to-coast -coast forecast. Hot and dry weather conditions continue as uh, we transition into this new month. The heat indices down to the south could be topping out into the 110 range. More drought uh, conditions, unfortunately, continuing through the uh, foreseeable future. The U.S. Drought Monitor releases their new update tomorrow, so we'll have that for you. But on the outer ring of that excessive heat, severe storms, at least the possibility of it and then the monsoon moisture out in the southwest pockets of very heavy rainfall actually had some water rescues in tucson arizona earlier this week and over the course of the weekend uh, due to some flash flooding two tenths of an inch of rain over the last 48 hours in the las vegas region probably not a good pool day yesterday and may not be this afternoon and uh, looking at some rain Thankfully in Denver, but not enough. We're over four inches behind normal since January 1st. So monsoon season continues out that way. Little impulse of energy running into the, uh, say, upper Mississippi Valley. Maybe some strong storms. We'll talk about that in just a bit. But also some uh, scattered rain showers and some flooding rain uh, in pockets in the southeast, helping out the drought situation there. High temperatures yesterday at 103 in St. Louis. That was a record. You can almost see the core of the heat and almost imagine the thunderstorms developing in the outer ring of that, which again will continue today. But all the county shaded in orange or pink down to the south under some type of a heat headline where heat indices will be at 110, maybe even 115. Some of that heat spilling out into the middle Mississippi Valley, the upper Mississippi Valley for today and tomorrow out ahead of a cool front, which is uh, dropping out of Canada here. That'll be one of two systems bringing thunderstorms to the high plains in the upper Mississippi Valley into the uh, next three to five days. But storm report map from yesterday showing some wind and hail, even one lone tornado report just south of Chicago in uh, east central Illinois, and then a few wind damage reports lining up along the Appalachians and then down into the Gulf Coast states. Our severe threat today really only encompassing the upper Mississippi Valley, but uh, again, that's the only area that the Storm Prediction Center is highlighting for the best potential for some uh, hail and high winds that would exceed the severe criteria, which is one inch diameter hail and 58 mile per hour winds. Uh, but keep in mind that we could have some strong and severe thunderstorms popping up in the southeast, just like we've been seeing over the past several afternoons. Another hot one, though, shaping up down to the south, 107 in Little Rock, maybe some uh, triple digit heat in Kansas City and also along the front range, 94 in Denver and 80 in Los Angeles. Hey, thanks for tuning in on a Wednesday. Have a good one.